Uh, here with Jamie Day after a 2-0 defeat to uh, Millwall. Um, overall, Jay, slightly disappointed with that, is that fair to say? Yeah, I think last two games have been a little disappointed with the performance and the levels that we've played at. Um, I think first half on Saturday, we've done fairly well with, with end product letting us down and obviously two sloppy goals. And then again, tonight we've, we've conceded two sloppy goals from neither passing properly or um, making the correct decision on the ball. So yeah, I'm disappointed. Um, it's still pre-season and I think it shows with the young lads that we've got there's going to be ups and downs and the last two games have been a little bit of a, a downward slope but obviously we need to pick them back up and uh, go again on Saturday. Yeah, <coughs> sloppy is the exact word I've written down in my notes. Where's it crept in or is as you say it is something you would expect? Yeah, I think you know the first four games we've done really well um, and new players coming obviously want to impress so maybe as a whole they've took their foot off the, the pedal a little bit in the last two games. Um, again, like I've said, we're gonna, we've got a young squad of players, so they're not going to keep the levels of performances up throughout the whole course of pre-season and the season. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to have to expect some, some dips this year, and it's obviously how we bounce back, and um, we need to bounce back sooner rather than later. Sometimes, though, you can learn more from a defeat than you can a win. What <laughs> can you take out of these last two games? Well, I feel... You know, the last two games where, you know, we've tried to pass and play and probably put ourselves under pressure from doing that. So I think our decision making needs to be better on the ball and there's going to be times where we're going to have to put it in areas and we're going to have to grind out results. So, um, you know, definitely uh, the decision making of, of us on the ball and also perhaps our willingness to get the ball back once we've lost it has not been as intense as it was in the first four games. So there's, there's things that we need to work on and um, we'll do that over the next two days and then obviously next week as well and um, hopefully pick the curve back up and uh, take it on to the ninth. Yeah, in terms of <coughs> creativity movement up front, was that a little bit of a concern tonight as well? Yeah, a little bit. I thought, you know, Rod got in a few times in behind and just then product probably let him down a little bit. Um, and I thought we created enough chances on Saturday in the first half, but in product again, let us down. And, and, and as we know at this level, if you don't take your chances, you get beat. So, yeah, I'm not sure whether that's just us being sloppy or people, you know, still looking to get a bit of fitness and um, get their touch where it needs to be. So, yeah, and that, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll work on it and sit down and have a look at tonight's game and then uh, obviously assess it from there. Do you enjoy these type of games against sort of more of a, a youthful Millwall side rather than their, their first team? Well, I think it, it gives us a, a look at the, some of the younger players Mill have got for us potentially to come in and play. So that helps. Um, you know, as a player, I'd rather play than train. So it's another 60 to 90 minutes for some of the boys. Um, the disappointing thing, obviously, is, you know, we didn't play as well as we can do. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll look at that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, overall, it's been a fairly pleasing pre-season. We probably... Um, peaked probably earlier than I thought we would have with the first four games and obviously he's brought us back down to earth a little bit but in a way you know hopefully that will that will stand us in good stead. Um, are you close to knowing your first 11 for, for Telford? Have you got it in the back of your mind? Well I think there's there's certain players that you you would look at and go yeah they'll play. I think Sam corn has been exceptional in pre-season and for someone so young you know I think he's knocking on the door close to playing in the first team so you know if we give him an opportunity I, I feel there's one player that could develop further so yeah there's a few there's a few that are close to knocking on on the, on the door and and uh, getting a first team place and there's a few that probably would feel they've done enough to get a place at the minute but I've just said to them in there you know no one's guaranteed a place we, we've had that policy for the whole time that I've been here so if people want to rest on what they've done previously then they'll come unstuck and we will pick the best team you know, whoever's playing the best, whether you're 17, 18, 21, you know, you'll start. Injury updates. Um, Charlie Penny, no Charlie Penny. Right? <coughs> yeah, Charlie Penny's having a scan tomorrow uh, on his hip. Um, we're hoping it's nothing major. He just last week done it shooting. So um, we're hoping the end of the week uh, he'll be back. Um, Joe Ely's on holiday, you know, so that's a, a loss for us. You know, I think that's shown in the two games as well of of the quality that he brings to the team and if I'm probably being honest I'd be need to add probably another forward to it um, obviously at the minute we haven't got the money to do so but I think that's something that we you know I'll speak to the club about because I think you know we're still short up front yeah could the, as you say the loan market maybe a youngster from a meal type right? yeah it's something that we, we need to look at um, like I say I, I think we need to inject a bit of pace up front and um, you know we'll, we'll look at that over the next couple of weeks
moving on to Saturday, uh, another Brentford, probably more reserve team um, than, than, than first team. Last pre-season before that we all get going. Looking forward to it? Yeah, I mean, I think you know pre-season has its good points and, and bad points. And obviously, you know, we want to get Saturday out of the way. We want to play well in that game and take that confidence into the first league game. Um, so, like I said, we'll work hard on Thursday and Friday. We'll work the boys hard. Hopefully, you know, we can pick up our performance on Saturday and get a bit of confidence from that and take that into the first league game. We've got a tough first week, so um, we need to get as many points as we can. Brilliant. Thanks for time as ever, Jake. All right, Spills.